Hi guys, welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now, today, I'll be recording a lecture video na naman para sa theory of structures na klase ko. Anyway, uh, tapos na kami sa method of sections last time. I mean, method of joints pala, sorry. Method of joints last time. So, ngayon, uh, method of sections naman. Mm, uh, don't worry, atong method of sections actually madali lang. But, yun nga, uh, Again, this is just a review ha, kasi dapat uh, na-discuss na to ng statics na instructor ninyo. Anyway, this is just a review kasi later on, we'll be solving uh, deflections of trusses. And then of course, hindi ko ibibigay yung mga bar force, okay? Kayo yung magsosolve. So, just a quick review if ever nakalimutan nyo na yung lessons niyo sa statics. So, uh, yeah, let's start. Now again, sa mga nanonood, I'll be addressing the class. I mean, I'll be addressing the yung mga... Uh, yung mga students ko ang ina-address ko sa lesson na to, okay? Sa lecture video na to. So, uh, if, uh, if ever man nag-take kayo ng theory class, so I hope makatulong din itong video. Okay, so method of sections tayo guys. So, tapos na tayo sa method of joints. Anyway, itong method of sections is a very advantageous no, na paraan to solve for the bar forces ng mga members natin sa trusses provided no, na, ano tawag doon, na yeah, parang specific lang ba? For example, Uh, parang specific bars lang For example, oh, uh, you are given this truss Halimbawa, itong truss na to Yan And then, you are not actually asked no, to solve for the bar force uh, lahat ng members You are just asked to solve for the bar force of CG For example, CG Yan, CG Again, sorry guys kung may spoiler, no? nandiyan na sa baba So anyway, tingnan nyo muna tayo yan Now, if you are asked to solve the, for the bar force of CG It would be unwise no, to use method of joints Kasi if you will try to solve method of joints Okay, uh, and then yung, yung, yung goal mo is to solve for the bar force CG You might try to consider uh, joint G and joint C Now, take a look no? Ang joint C, apat ang, ma apat ang members Meaning, apat ang anons dyan Likewise din yung joint G So, ang tendency, you cannot easily, anong, I mean, you cannot go directly ba to joint C and G. Ang gagawin mo is, you will try to consider joint A. Okay, you will try to consider joint A. And then, you will try to consider joint D siguro or joint E. And then, so on until aabot ka sa C at saka joint G. Okay, and then, from that, you can actually solve CG. So, medyo matagal na. Now, another way, guys, to do that is to cut the section. Cut, I mean, cut the section. Cut the truss. Okay, cut the truss so that, Okay? Cut the truss na madadaanan mo yung CG Kasi ang gagawin natin is Pag cut natin dyan Maglalabasan na yung mga internal forces dyan Which, in, which is yung bar force yung hinahanap natin So of course, since hinahanap natin yung uh, CG Dapat i-cut natin kung saan merong <clears throat> bar force CG Kung saan uh, la maglalabas lalabas ba itong bar force CG Okay? For example, obvious naman na Ito yung uh, member CG natin So we will try to cut here Now, by the way, guys, take note, it is very important no, na pag nag-cut kayo, as much as possible, tatlo lang ang members na madadaanan. Kasi pag tatlo yung members na madadaanan, ibig sabihin, tatlo lang ang mga internal bar force na lalabas. Okay? Pag tatlo lang ang bar force na lalabas, you can actually solve that using your equilibrium equations, yung summation of forces, vertical, horizontal, and moments. Now, in some cases, guys, you can actually, pwede actually na apat yung madadaanan, provided na... Yun nga, you can actually easily solve sa isang bar force. Minsan kasi, uh, for example, tatlo yung, uh, apat yung nadaanan mo. Pagkat mo apat. But it so happened na yung tatlo is actually on the same joint. Okay? Yung tatlo on the same joint. So, ang tendency, if mag-moment ka dun sa joint na yun, okay, you can actually solve the fourth bar reaction. Anyway, bihila lang mangyari yun. But for now, uh, ganun lang. Tatlo lang muna. If you will try to cut, situate na tatlo ang madadaanan. So, dito... You can actually cut here, tinan nyo. Pwedeng mag-cut dito, okay, sa section AA. Pwede din actually dito, tinan nyo. You can actually cut here, tinan nyo yung cursor, yan. Pwede kayong mag-cut dyan kasi tatlo din yung madadaanan. Kaso, hindi natin nadaanan yung CG, di ba? So, CG, we are interested sa CG. So, I think ang cut lang no, na maaari na tatlo ang madadaanan is actually ito, a vertical cut. Now, when you try to cut this, okay, ang mangyayari guys, meron kang dalawang sections. Either left or right. Okay, sorry. Yan, okay, sorry pala kanina So anyway guys, ito yun, meron tayong dalawang sections pag nag na tayo So itong left section, of course, and then we have the right section So let's try to take a look muna, no? Sa left section, tingnan nyo, same pa din, mariretain yung mga forces doon So ito yun, yan, meron kang 1000 newton na force dito, pababa And then notice na, nung nag tayo sa, <clears throat> dito sa, ito vertically, along sa, ito, itong tatlong 
uh, tatlong members na to, of course, maglalabasan na yung mga bar forces sa members. Now, take a look. Dito sa BC, okay? Ito yung bar force sa BC. By the way, guys, uh, dito sa figure na to, alam niya na kasi kung ano yung bar force ng bar tension. Sorry again. Sorry again, guys. Anyway, uh, ito na yun. So, again, uh, sorry guys, dito kasi sa example na to, alam niya na kasi kung ano yung uh, mga bar force, kung compression ba or tension. Again, gaya nga yung sabi ko sa inyo, uh, for now, kasi student ko kayo, no? sundin nyo muna ako. No? So, ang um, just assume muna na tension lahat. Okay? Assume muna na tension lahat. And then later on, if meron kayong negative na answer, meaning, mali yung assumption mo. Okay? So, ano ibig kong sabihin doon? For example, uh, ito, ito. Tingnan nyo. We will try to draw the free body diagram sa left Okay, left section. So, parang ganito yan. So, ganyan, ganyan. Hmm. Paano ba ito? Ganun. Yan. So, ito, this is actually intention. So, gandahan natin. Yan, that is intention. And then, yung isa, intention. Yan. And then, yung last is intention. Yan muna. Okay. Again, uh, ngayon, for now, Medyo mahirapan kayo to determine no, kung compression ba or tension ba ang member. So, just assume that all members are in tension. Anyway, later on, if you, uh, pag nag-solve tayo, makukuha nyo is negative, meaning that is actually in compression. Okay? So, yung last is nandito. Yan. 1,000. I'm sorry. Bang, 1,000 Newton. Yan. Okay? So, if you try to consider this member, okay, yan yung, uh, I mean, this section, yan yung free body diagram niya. Now, likewise, Check natin dito. Likewise, uh, pwede din actually, you can actually consider din itong section na to. Ito, ito. Itong section, uh, yung kabila, yung nasa right section. So, tawagin nyo na lang at the right of AA, section AA kasi, section AA kasi yan. So, same pa din guys, if you will try to consider that, maglalabasan pa din yung, uh, yan yung mga internal bar force dyan. But, take note, huwag nyo kalimutan. Now, you try to consider the right section. If you will try to consider this section, tingnan nyo, Free body diagram. Di ba may reaction to dito? Meron yung reaction na... Yan, anong reaction dito? Uh, this is actually hinge. So, pin. So, dalawa. Okay? RY at saka RX. Then, same din dito. This is actually ruler. So, meron kang... Yan. Uh, meron kang EX lang. Isa lang. Now, uh, ito yung maganda sa method of sections, guys. Kasi, pwede kang hindi na lang... Ang kontrol... Uh, pwede kang hindi na lang mag-solve ng reactions. Now, for, uh, for, for this, uh, ito example na to. Tingnan nyo, nag-cut ako dito. You can actually consider either left or right section. Kahit saan dyan. Kasi mangyari pag nag-cut ka, okay, dalawa na yung sections mo. You can actually consider kahit saan dyan and still you will arrive at the same answer. So, take advantage of that. Consider the section na walang anong, hindi naman walang ano. I mean, kaunti lang yung kailangan mong iso. Kasi dito, tingnan mo, ano? Kasi if you try to consider the section, ilan yung anons mo? Tatlo lang, di ba? Now, if you will try to consider this section, you cannot actually consider this section easily. Bakit? Maliban sa ang unknown mo is itong tatlo, you actually need the reactions. Okay? So, medyo mahihirapan ka. Now, this is a very common misconception, guys. Ang iba kasing students ko, ang ginagawa is, before they actually solve the reactions, usually kinakat nila. For example, ikakat ko. Pagkat ko, ito na, naglabasa na. Tapos, ang idea nila is, Sir, I cannot actually solve, sir, yung mga reactions dito. Kasi if I will try to solve the reactions, uh, 6 kasi yung tinan mo, sir, 6, I have 6 unknowns dito, sir, and then 3 equations lang yung kaya ko. So, I, I cannot actually consider this section. Now, that is a, uh, no, a uh, common misconception. Before kayo mag-cut, guys, okay, before kayo mag-cut ng, yan, yan, before kayo mag-cut, okay, and then if you will try to consider this section, always, always try to solve muna sa reactions. As a, ito, ito. As a whole system, ito. You can only solve the re ito, ito, yung mga external reactions by considering the whole, ito muna, just consider the whole structure. Okay? So, pwede ka mag-sum up ng moment sa D. You can actually solve yung reaction sa E. And then, pwede ka mag-sum up naman sa moment sa E or sum up ka ng forces vertical and horizontal. You can actually solve the reaction sa D. After mo solve yung mga reactions, then you can cut. And then, after mo cut so, since alam mo na yung reaction dito, yung tatlo, see, pwede mo nang makonsider itong, ito, itong section na to, yung nasa right. But yun nga, gaya nga nang sabi ko, if ang problem is isa lang na bar force, for example, ito lang, CG, okay, so, pwede actually, hmm, if I will try, para mang-iisipin, if I will try to cut CG, I can actually consider left or right section. 
So if I will try to consider the right section, siguro kailangan ko munang isolve yung reactions. Okay? But if I will try to consider the left section, wala na akong reactions na isosolve. So I think mas maganda na i-consider ko na lang yung left section without solving the ito, without solving these reactions. So let's try to solve daw itong member CG na yan. So check natin yan. So meron yang uh, 2M to no. 2M and then this is actually 2M then. So this is 45 degrees. Uh, likewise 45 degrees din nata to yan. 45 degrees. So this is FBC. And then this is uh, F ano yan? Uh, GF. Okay. So guys, take note. Oh, yan. You can actually solve. Tatlo ang anons, you actually have tatlong equilibrium equations. Now, since isa lang yung gusto ko, which is itong bar force F uh, GC, so I can actually solve this using one equilibrium equation. So, ano sa tingin nyo? Okay? Now, ang technique din yan, guys, if magsusolve ka sa mga bar forces sa truss, if, notice guys, na ang anon ko is, is GC lang, di ba? Okay? Ano yung tinuro ko sa inyo? Usually, uh, last time, sinabi ko sa inyo na if you try to solve yung mga more forces natin sa truss, no? If meron kang tatlong anons, mag-sum up ka ng moment. Okay? Mag-sum up ka ng moment, guys. Kung saan yung dalawang anons na hindi mo naman kailangan, which is in this case, FBG and FGC, mag-i-intersect. Okay? Now, ask yourself, no? Sir, mag-intersect ba yan? Tingnan nyo, mag-intersect ba ang F? Yan, mag-intersect ba ang FBC at saka yung FGH? Mag-intersect ba? Actually, hindi, no? Parallel kasi sila. So, since, sir, parallel man, parallel man yan, asan ako magmo-moment? Actually, you do not need to use summation of moments. Pag parallel yung dalawang forces na yan, horizontally, just sum up forces vertically. And then, yung lalabas is yung unknown mo lang. Tignan niya, ha? If I will try to sum up forces, yun, sum up ako ng forces uh, vertical, that is actually equal to zero. So, upward is equals downward. Okay? So, ano yung forces upward? Now, ang forces upward, notice na ang FGC is actually upward, kaso inclined lang. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is we will try to use the component of FGC. Ito, ito. Component ng FGC. Now, ano yung vertical component ng FGC? Now, tinuro ko niyan last time sa method of joints, di ba? Yung mga uh, horizontal and vertical components as I review sa statics niyo. So, the vertical component of FGC is actually FGC sine cosine okay i am interested okay i am interested sa vertical component now notice guys na ang vertical component nito is actually nandito no somewhere here now tingnan niyo walang angle between the vertical component and fgc now since walang ang angle given is actually hindi diyan wala diyan so ang gagamitin natin is sine okay so fgc sine and then 45 okay and then, I think wala nang ibang upward, no? So, that must be equal to our downward force. Now, our downward force is only 1,000 kilo. I mean, 1,000 newton. Therefore, you can actually solve FGC. Yan. So, FGC, check down natin. 1,000. Again, make sure na uh, degrees yung angle ninyo. 1,000 divided by sine 45. Yan. Okay. So, meaning, ang FGC natin is actually 1,000. 114 newton. Okay? So, I hope okay lang tayo dyan. ba? So, yan. Take note. Tingnan nyo. Using the method of sections. Okay? Using the method... Using, using the method of section, guys. Uh, you can actually solve FGC easily. ba? Tingnan nyo. Isang equation lang. Isang magsakan lang. Now, yan. That is actually advantageous pag the unknown is actually yung FGC lang. Now, if you will be asked sa problem na find the bar force in all the members so it would be unwise to use method of sections kasi ang mangyayari ang dami mong sections na gagawin kasi you can only i mean you can only cut the section di ba pag merong three unknowns and then notice na ang daming bars di ba so maaring magcut ka pa diyan magcut ka pa diyan uh, magcut ka pa dito so uh, ano ta tedious na okay so ang gagawin niyo is yun pag if you ask you if you will be asked to, to solve specific members lang specific bar forces of certain members, it is best, no, na gagamitin natin yung method of sections. Now, if you'll be asked, okay, if you'll be asked sa, uh, sa mga bar forces in all the members, ang gagamitin nyo is method of joints. And then, actually, uh, mas safe din yung method of joints compared sa method of sections. 
Anyway, uh, depende pa din sa inyo kung ano yung gagamitin niyo. Okay? So, ano pa ba? Uh, yeah. Sa theory natin, guys, ang usually magagamit natin is itong method of join. Bakit? Uh, tapos na kasi tayo sa... Actually, hindi ko na kayo tatanungin kung ano yung bar for sa CG, ano yung bar for sa BC, ganun. Uh, sa theory kasi, ang gagawin natin is we will try to solve for the deflections of these trusses. For example, deflection dito sa point A. Okay? Horizontal deflection sa point A, ganun. And then, if you try to solve for those deflections, you actually need the bar forces, okay, of all the members later on, especially sa yung mga specific methods natin. So, yeah. So, siguro hindi nyo na magagamit yung method of sections unless, of course, uh, you'll be asked na lang sa mga, in a way, counting review man lang to. You'll be asked sa, ito ito, sa mga certain bar forces. Okay, so uh, may binigay ako sa inyo. I hope naintindihan niyo ito yung advantage. Ito yung uh, maganda sa method of sections. Now, may bibigay ako sa inyo guys na I think binigay ko na no yan. Ay, sorry. Ito to, na problem. Anyway, uh, check niyo, meron din yang sagot. Uh, I think we can actually solve meron pa tayong time. So, let's try to solve that. Uh, determine the force in each member of the truss. So, indicate whether, whether the members are in tension and compression. So, okay. So, tingnan niyo uh, bar force in each member of the truss. Okay, so, again, each member. So, mas maganda talaga na gamitin natin yung method of joints. Now, since ang lesson natin is method of sections, so, I will just try to solve the bar forces in each member using method of sections. Okay? So, uh, proceed tayo. Yan, ilipat ko muna, guys, yung uh, figure natin. So, ano yung figure natin dyan? We have, gano'n, no? Oh, yan, pangit. Sandali. Yan, for, uh, 400 newton lang pala. So, 400 newton, and then, ano pa? Uh, 6,000 newton. I mean, 600 pala. 600 newton. And then, we have, yan, uh, I'll just assume, guys, na ganito yung reaction. Uh, so anyway, uh, pag mali yung assumption natin, uh, negative lang yung sign. Hindi naman ibig sabihin no, na mali agad tayo. So, RCY. Again, we have a pin support sa C. So, that is actually two reactions. So, pin support, RCY and RCX. Okay. Then, we have a ruler support dito sa A. I hope by now, ha? Alam nyo na kung ano yung, uh, ano yung ruler at saka ano yung pin. Okay. So, ruler support. So, anyway, pag-anyan yan. So, that's RA. So, yan lang ata. Na ano yung sinabi ko sa inyo? Before, you can actually cut this section. So, try to solve muna yung mga reaction. So, I'll try to solve for the reaction, guys. So, so before RA, yung reaction sa R... Ay, yung dimensions pala. Kailangan natin. We have... Dali, ha? We have 3M. 3M. And then, we have 4M. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, I'll try to solve RA muna by summing up moments at C. So, if labels A, B, C, and D. Okay, so summation of moment at C is equal to 0, clockwise equals counterclockwise. Okay, so ang clockwise nyan, clockwise moment is actually itong RA. Isa na yan, yung RA. So, RA will cause a clockwise moment with an over, uh, I mean with an and with a moment arm na 6, okay, that must be equal to the counterclockwise moment, guys, that is caused by 600 and 400. So, I hope makikita nyo na, na counterclockwise yung 600 and 400. So, 400 has a moment arm of 3, while 600 has a moment arm of 4. So, you can actually solve RA. Check na natin ano yung RA natin. So, ano yan? Uh, 400 times 3 plus 600 times 4. Mm -hmm. And then, divide that by uh, 6. So, 600 yung RA natin. Tama ba? So, 600 Newton. Okay? So, positive. Therefore, tama yung assumption natin. Now, let's try to solve for uh, RCY. Now, if I'll try to solve for RCY, I think I'll just sum up moments. Just sum up mo, I mean, sum up lang ako ng forces vertical equal to zero, upward equals downward. So, the upward forces, uh, we have, ano to, RA, di ba? Yung RA, 
at saka yung plus RCY kasi upward din kasi yung RCY ko tingnan niyo. So, meron pa bang ibang upward forces? Wala na, no? So, since wala na, that must be equal to 0. Okay? So, notice guys, we already have our RA na 600. So, ang RCY ko obviously is negative 600 Newton. Okay? Again, hindi mali yung sagot ko ha, mali lang yung assumption ko. Okay? Therefore, pababa sana yan, no? yung uh, RCY natin. Anyway, uh, yan na lang, i-retain ko na lang yung negative sign and then yung assumption ko din para hindi na ako mahirapan later on. Now, same pa din, uh, try to solve for RCX. So, I'll just sum up forces horizontal equal to 0 to the right equals to the left. Okay? So, ang to the right guys, we have 600. Obvious naman nun na papunta sa right yung 600. And then, yung to the left natin is itong RCX. Yan. So, therefore, RCX is actually equal to 600. Wala na. Diretso na. Okay. So, after nyan, pwede na natin i-cut yung section natin. So, uh, saan ba natin pwedeng i-cut? So, for example, I'll try to solve for BD. Okay. Yung joint BD. Uh, I mean, yung member BD, CD, at saka A. So, I'll be cutting here. Ito, ito. Pwede ko i-cut ata dito. Yan. Okay. Na pag ikat ko dyan, okay, pag ikat ko dyan, I can actually consider yung left section or yung right section. na ako, na kung, kung mapapansin ninyo sa figure natin, mas magandang i-consider yung right, I mean yung left section. Kasi dalawa lang yung forces ko. In fact, dalawa vertical pa. Yung kabila kasi, uh, medyo, yeah, medyo marami-rami yung uh, forces sa kabila. So, pangit. Pangit i-consider yung nasa right. So, yung left na lang. Sige. So, I'll try to consider yung left section, guys. So, i-draw ko dito. So, ano yung nangyari sa left section natin? So, parang ganito na lang yung natira sa left section. Mm -hmm. And then, we have our RA dito na. 600 <clears throat> Newton. And then, we have the 400 Newton dito. Yan. Di ba? Tama, di ba? The same lang. Tingnan nyo. Okay. So, ito, maglalabasan na. This is our BC. Uh, FBC. By the way, this is B. This is A. Okay. And then, this is our FBD. Okay. And then, we have our FAD. Okay. So, again, three unknowns. I have three equations. Okay. So, notice guys na ang FBC and FAD are para parallel, no? parallel na forces. So, I can just sum up forces vertical and then I can actually solve FBD. Okay? So, tingnan nyo ha. Sum up ako ng forces vertical is equal to 0. Upward is equal to downward forces. Ano yung upward forces natin? Uh, we have uh, 600. Di ba? Upward yung 600. Meron pa pa tayong ibang upward? Wala na. So, the downward forces, is we have 400. And then, plus, tingnan nyo, yung FBD, guys, is actually a downward force. Kaso nga lang, inclined lang. Okay? So, therefore, we'll be using the component of FBD. Now, balik tayo dito sa figure. Yan. Unfortunately, guys, hindi kayo binigyan ng angle. But you can actually solve the angle dito sa uh, bar force na to. Okay? With respect to horizontal or vertical. But, Another way, no, kasi binigyan na kayo ng, you know, ng ratio 3 at saka 4. So, instead of solving the angle, you can just use a triangle. Tingnan nyo dito. So, would you agree na kung ito yung FBD, okay? So, you actually have a parang triangle dito. Yan. Or siguro mas, mas maintindihan nyo pa ganito kasi ganito kasi yung tingnan nyan. Yan. And then, yung horizontal component ng triangle na yan is actually 3. Okay? And then, yan, 3. And then, the vertical component, kung mapapansin nyo sa figure, we have actually a 4. Yan. And then, by the way, guys, that is just a similar triangle. Baka isipin nyo, sir, ang liit ng, uh, ang liit ng three dimension mo. So, anyway, uh, uh, similar triangle yung, lang yung ginawa ko. And then, notice na we are actually lacking one side of the triangle, which is the hypotenuse. So, you can actually just solve. So, square root of, that is actually 5. That is a three, uh, special triangle, man, no? So, 3 squared plus 4 squared is actually 5 squared. Yan. I mean, tama, 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared. So, square root of that is actually 5. So, uh, ito, this is actually 5. Anong, anong gagawin ko dyan, sir? Now, the vertical component of the FBD is actually equal to FBD and then just multiply that by 
the ratio. Ano yung ratio, sir? The ratio of the vertical component din sa triangle, I mean, vertical side ng triangle, okay, which is 4, divided by the hypotenuse na 5. Ganun lang. Okay? Instead of using an angle, yan na lang. So, sir, ano pala yung horizontal component ng FBD? So, ang horizontal component, guys, ng FBD is FBD. Okay? This is actually a uh, horizontal, ha? Horizontal component. FBD. So, since horizontal, horizontal part then, which is 3, divide by the hypotenuse, 5. Kaya na lang. Okay? Yan na lang yung gawin ninyo, guys. Huwag na kayong mag... Uh, huwag, huwag nyo nang isolve yung angle kasi matatagalan pa kayo. And then, redundant, ha? You are given the triangle and then you split out to solve for the angle. So, sayang. Okay, anyway, uh, later on, mak makikita nyo naman no, na sine or cosine of the angle is actually just equal to uh, 4 over 5 or 3 over 5. Okay, so, yan na lang. So, we actually, you can actually, from this equation, ito, from this equation, you can actually solve FBD. Okay, so, try na natin isolve yung FBD natin, guys. So, paano ba ito? Buburahin ko muna ito, ha? Ito, ito. Yan, buburahin ko ito. Okay, so, FBD is actually equal to, check na natin dito, ano yan, uh, 600, okay, is equal to 400 plus X. So, by the way, guys, okay na kayo mag-shift solve kasi bumalik na yung shift solve sa board exam natin. Uh, kaso nga lang, hindi ito yung calculator sa mga hindi nakakaalam. Uh, last, I think, last two months, uh, pinagbawal kasi yung shift solve. So, anyway, our FBD is actually... 250. Yan, 250. Anyway, bumalik na yung shift solve, guys, but not in this form of calculator. Sa ibang calculator, actually. Take note, we have a positive answer. Therefore, ano ibig sabihin nun? Na, hindi ibig sabihin na, tension or compression agad. Pag positive ang answer, meaning tama yung assumption ko. Okay? Now, ang assumption natin dito is actually in tension. Therefore, FBD is actually in tension. Gano lang. Okay? So, let's try to solve sa FAB. Okay? Then, yun, i-try natin i-solve yung FAB, tapos na tayo sa FBD. Now, solving for FA, FAB pala, sorry. FAB, guys. Hmm. I can actually sum up moments sa B. Tingnan nyo. If I will try to sum up moments sa B, guys, equal to 0, clockwise equals counterclockwise, I can easily solve for FAB kasi ang FAB lang ang mag-rotate. Dito ako, dito ako nag-moment. Yan. Okay, pag dyan ako mag-moment, guys, uh, the two forces, the other two unknowns will actually uh, intersect. Okay, so concurrent sila sa point na yan. Therefore, ang magro-rotate lang is yung FAD. Okay, so clockwise equals counterclockwise. By the way, ano yung distance ito? We actually have a uh, 4 dito. And then ito, this is actually 3. Okay, so ang clockwise moment, I think obvious no na 600. Considering point B. Okay, so 600... Ano ang moment arm ng 600, guys? Ang moment arm ng 600 is actually 3. Okay, I hope naalala nyo pa sa statics. Ito yung point natin. 600 is, ganito yung 600. Dyan, dyan dadaan yung line of action ng 600. So, itong distance yung hinahanap natin. Perpendicular distance. Okay? So, 600 times 3. And then, that must be equal. I think wala nang ibang clockwise, no? So, that would be equal to our counterclockwise moment, which is caused by FAD. Okay? FAD. And then, the moment arm of FAD is actually equal to 4. Yan. Uy, pangit ng 4. <laughs> Sorry. Hirap talaga i-sulat dito. Anyway, uh, masusolve na natin yung FAD, guys. Yan. So, ano yan? 600 times 3 over 4. So, we have FAD na 450. Now, same pa din guys, notice na positive yung sagot natin, therefore, we have the right assumption. And then, we all, I mean, ang assume ko is actually intention lahat. Ito yung maganda guys, pag nag-assume ka na tension lahat. Okay? Yan yung maganda kasi pag nag-assume ko guys na tension lahat, so wala problema pag positive tension, pag negative, edit compression, di ba? Uh, so, yeah, maganda. Now, actually, advantageous din guys, kung nag-assume ka agad sa tamang mga, uh, compression bar tension yung mga bar forces natin. But, gaya nga nasabi ko, for now, okay, since baguhan pala tayo, medyo mahihirapan ka to determine if ang member is actually tension bar or compression. Okay? So, yeah. So, after nyan, uh, let's try to solve yung last natin. So, hanggang dito lang muna, yung tatlo lang muna yung isosolve natin. And I think, na nakuha nyo na, nag-guess nyo na yung uh, principle natin sa method of section. So, I'll try to solve for FBC. So, solving for FBC, guys, I'll just sum up 
forces horizontally that is equal to zero to the right equals to the left okay so ang to the right ano yung to the right natin guys hmm ano kaya yung to the right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ay wala ang to the right is of course yung FAD at saka yung FBC okay from our figure oh tingnan nyo from our figure yan lang yung to the right FAD and FBC ay mayroon pa pala kalimutan natin yung uh, horizontal component ng FBD tingnan nyo Ang FBD guys, meron yung horizontal component. Ang FBD to the right din kasi. Okay? So meron yung horizontal component na to the right. So i-add natin. Okay? Plus FBD. Ay, sorry. F <laughs> sorry guys, FBD. Yan. Kaso nga lang guys, since this is actually a component, we will be using, okay? We will be using the yung bang uh, ratio and proportion natin. So again, ulitin natin yung triangle dito is actually Yan, yung triangle dyan is actually uh, 3, 4, ay, bali, bagsad, bagsad, sorry, sorry. Ako po. Yan, bala. So, 4, 3, and 5, okay? So, since I am actually interested no, sa uh, verti uh, horizontal component, so I'll be using the ratio of the horizontal part din ng triangle na yan, which is 3, divided by the hypotenuse na 5, Okay? So, that is actually equal to our... Check natin dito. So, meron ba tayong forces to the right? That is actually equal to our forces to the right. Check na yung figure. Meron ba forces to the right? Wala, no? Since walang forces to the right, uh, the equal to ta, equal to sa zero. Yan, equal zero. So, I think alam na natin yung FAD. So, yung FAD, guys, is actually 450. Okay? Plus, yung FBC... Okay, nakuha na ba natin yung FBC? Hindi pa. So, ito yung ano. Plus, FBD. The FBD is actually 250. Again, i-retain ang sign and then multiply by 3 over 5 equals 0. So, you can actually solve FBC. Yan. So, i-solve natin ang FBC, guys. That is actually, uh, asa na yan? FBC, FBC. So, 450. Ang 450, 450 plus x, okay, and then plus 250 times 3 over 5, okay? So, check natin yung sagot, tama ba to? 450 x, okay, so check natin. Yeah, so negative 600. So guys, since negative 600 yan, Okay, so that is actually in Newton. Therefore, again, hindi ibig sabihin na, na negative tension or compression. Okay, ang ibig sabihin niyan is mali yung assumption mo. And then, I assumed na tension lahat. So, since mali, this is actually in compression. So, pwede kong isulat to na FBC. It's actually 600 Newton and then in compression. Yan. By the way, guys, huwag nyo na lang lagyan ng negative. Okay, pag nilagyan nyo na yung uh, sign na compression kasi parang redundant na. Okay. So, yan. Negative uh, new, uh, 600 Newton in compression. Okay? So, I think yan lang muna, guys, para sa method of sections. This, anyway, this is just a review. So, I hope na intindihan ninyo. So, method of section, guys, uh, diniscuss ko lang ulit kasi if ever ito yung gusto ninyo uh, later on. Diniscuss ko lang if ever ito yung gusto ninyo later on to solve for the uh, bar forces sa mga trusses natin. Okay? So, uh, again, I suggest na yung gamitin ninyo sa mga... Uh, parating na lessons natin especially sa deformations of our trusses is method of joints kasi you will be solving okay the deformation I mean the bar forces of all the members later on so mm -hmm. mm, yeah so I think mas advantageous yung method of joints so yan lang muna guys so maraming salamat sa panonood and of course uh, check nyo muna by the way after nito uh, after kasi nito guys magla live kasi kami Okay, and then sa live discussions namin, doon na, uh, doon na nila itatanong yung mga questions nila, yung mga sentiments and violent reactions, okay, with regards to this video. Okay, so I hope okay na kayo guys sa beams, trusses, okay, so ma para makamove on na tayo sa deflections of beams using area moment method, double integration, at saka yung iba pang mga methods natin. Sige? So yeah, salamat sa panonood and I hope nakatulong din ako sa mga ibang nagtitake ng uh, online classes, especially sa statics at saka sa theory. Yan lang muna. Maraming salamat.